They're heavenly. And in fact, we'll be having um, elderberry sauce on top of a pork loin for lunch. In the last decade, a growing taste for local organic food and the rise of celebrity chefs have influenced Napa Valley's finest restaurants with a renewed passion for wild and forged delicacies. These grow wild. On the forefront of this movement is longtime forager and author Connie Green, who sells her gathered goods to Napa Valley's rising star chefs and around the world. Foraging has been a part of uh, humankind's traditions for thousands of years. But foraging has gone on very heavily throughout the Pacific Northwest, the South, the Midwest. There's so many regional traditions for foraging. Its association with whole cuisine, with pioneering chefs. In October, a new book she co-wrote with master chef Sarah Scott will showcase the pleasures of foraging. It includes recipes with ingredients like mushrooms, berries, and other wild edibles. I mean, here is fennel. These little tiny seeds, I started giving these ways to chefs years ago, mm -hmm. sprinkled in salads. The unformed seeds, so it's like these little tiny, little flavor bombs. Of course, wild is a relative term. Even in their own backyard, food foragers can put to use generations worth of food gathering knowledge to use as they look for edible foods. My driveway, I have chanterelles, I have acorns, I have any number of delicious weeds. There's miner's lettuce, burdock, curly dock. I mean, I could name you probably 15 things I can pick on the way down to pick up my mail. In the back roads of Napa Valley, a region known for its wineries and elegant dining, these folks are getting ready for lunch, or rather, they're hunting to gather their lunch. Do you have prickly pear recipes in your book? Yep. Mm. Mighty yummy pear. It is my great passion and love, and I have been doing, I have been foraging for one food or another since I was a little child mm -hmm. with my grandparents, as many people did in the country. This will be about a month before it's ready to go. At the Continuum Winery Vineyards, the Mandavi family, known for its outstanding wines, has a long history of pairing food and wine, but also foraging for food. Going into my grandmother's kitchen was always an experience. Um, uh, I remember being able to go hunt uh, and would be able to bring these birds back to my grandmother and she would pluck them and we would have this uh, polenta, uh, Italian quail. But we would also go mushroom hunting um, and there were these fabulous mushrooms, fairly beefy, large mushrooms. But then she would dry them, she would use them uh, uh, fresh, but they would always add a little bit of that uh, earthiness. This is the Louisiana style chanterelle hash. The foraged treats gathered on this outing are then cooked into recipes by Chef Sarah Scott and paired with wines by Tim Mondavi. Yeah. Um, we're doing our classic meadow mushroom soup, which is a delicious puree with the meadow mushrooms and a little porcini essence in there. There's a little tartine or crostini with an herbed ricotta, fresh ricotta, and roasted maitake mushrooms. For the main course, we're doing a pork tenderloin, and that's served with an elderberry port sauce. And that's served with our, the thing that we love, our chanterelle hash cake. And then we'll have, for dessert, a, a ice cream sundae with a bourbon caramel black walnut sauce. I think what I, what I like about these and the challenge again is that they are so seasonal. These aren't the things you're going to fly up from Chile or bring in from other parts of the country or other parts of the world because they are so seasonal and so local essentially that they, there's a brief window and when you get to work with them they are at their prime, they taste their best. In Napa Valley, I'm Chris Kievman with the Wall Street Journal.